It's pet week, bitch. Jeez. Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know, I'm David. I'm going to be here Tuesday this week because Roman was getting his wisdom teeth out and there was just spitting blood everywhere. It was really bad, so the last minute he called me a fill-in. Oh wait, that was Simon. You know, I'm actually not sure why Roman wanted someone to fill in for him. We're gonna call him right now. Hi, Roman. Hi. I want to know why it was that you asked me to fill in this week. No, I'm not laughing. All right, well, I'm sure they'll understand. Okay, bye. So it's pet week, right? And Roman said that he was dressing up his cats and they just started clawing at his face so he has some nasty scratches. He didn't want to be seen in this week's video. So let's cut him some slack, you know. So without further ado, pets week. So I have two cats at home. Their names are Lewis and Clark, they're really cute. Sadly, they're in Oregon right now and I'm at school in Ohio, so I can't really show them to you. So I had to figure out something else to do. I realized that if I could have any pet that I wanted, it would probably be a camel. So I thought that would be legit to talk about. So why would I want a camel? Actually, my fascination with camels started pretty recently while I was at college. I was watching a documentary in one of my politics classes last semester, and one of the guys in the video said the strangest thing. And ultimately, I think the negotiations were the beginning of the camel sticking its nose into the canvas tent. What the hell? does that mean? So after listening to this, I thought I need to figure out what this means. So I went with my boyfriend and we started looking up quotes about camels. I, I thought I could read you a few of them. Trust me, they're worth it. If the camel once gets his nose in the tent, his body will soon follow. When a slave mounts a camel, he wants to ride on both humps. Is the white camel made of fat? And then there's my favorite. Better a handful of dry dates and content therewith than to own the gait of peacocks and be kicked in the eye by a broody camel. Wow. Hopefully you feel enlightened. Simon, I really hope you feel better soon. I saw some pictures of you on Daily Booth and it looks like you either haven't become a chipmunk yet or you already are healing, which is great. I haven't had my wisdom teeth out. The idea of laughing guests just freaks me out, so I don't know how well I'm going to handle that. Roman, thank you so much for letting me fill in. I really, really appreciate it. I love your guys' channel. And since we're BFFs, I'm sure I'll see you really soon, like when I come home for spring break. Darren, I'm so glad that we have similar tastes in music. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Also, your video made me laugh so hard last week. I've actually never seen The Amazing Race, but I feel like I could definitely picture it based on the things you said about it. You know, it probably didn't hurt that it was the ultra gay season. Luan, I loved your video. That's my favorite episode of America's Next Top Model. Wow. Except it always reminds me of the Family Guy episode where then Tyra like unhinges her mouth and this huge lizard pops out. It's really good, I recommend you watch it. And Brandon, you did an amazing acting job in Luan's video. I LOL'd, I ROFL'd, I LMAO'd. Jesus. Corey, it was so awesome to see you fill in yesterday. I feel sort of intimidated that this video is coming right after you filled in. And your cat is very, very cute. All right, well, I think that's about all the time I have. Thanks again, Roman, for letting me fill in. I'm going to put a link to my personal channel in the sidebar, although I share a personal channel with Roman. It's crazy, isn't it? But I'll also put a link to my Twitter in the sidebar, which I do not share with anyone. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.